I had you in top eight. 100% I did. That's why I Okay, I wasn't sure. I think you were seated top eight. Oh my god. So cringe. Okay, Shendo Amac, these two already played, and Shendo 3 0 him. We got the man of the hour here. Uh, sitting in winner's finals right now, Zaid Rababa. How are you doing, Zaid? Am I supposed to be able to hear you? Pardon me. I cannot. I cannot hear you. Oh. That's okay. Who can you hear? Can you hear any of us? Huh? Can you hear any of us? No. no. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just keep talking and eventually it'll work. Can you all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Yeah. Okay, I can hear anything. I can't hear anything. Focus on the game, guys. Uh, so, right. Shendo 3 0 A match last time. They played earlier I, today, a few hours ago. But Amac, the thing about Amac, he got, he got the old man fungies. He's been here for years. He He's been in fun. losers for a hot minute, too. Yeah. He, he got so much experience just from today. Mm -hmm. He lost to, to Benham, right? Yes. Wow. Uh, no, sorry. Which one of them? Shendo lost to Benham. Shendo lost to Benham in pools, yeah. Amac beat Benham for oh. top eight. Okay. There we go. Uh, I... I've played against Amac in this match all the time. Uh, he hates it. He thinks he, he describes this matchup as Wolf win by accident <laughs> because because Wolf, Wolf's tools just ha happen to deal with banana well and happen to deal with like they just trade with a lot of stuff. Oh. Yeah. Crescendo's favorite thing to do on ledge is auto cancel bear F kick. I actually just in neutral in general, so you'll be seeing a lot. I, I guarantee at least. Yep, there you go, right there. He does it every five seconds. So. Uh, He does. He, he does have enough. Oh. Now, while we're still near the beginning of this game, I do want to ask you a question, Zayn. Yeah. Can you tell us what was going through your mind at the end of game four on Town and City between you and Benji? Uh, is that the one that I paused? You paused during a back air. I was getting pretty frustrated because he realized that his scrapping with Mario was not a good idea. Yeah. And so he hard started to keep going down. We getting, saw it, yeah. I was getting very frustrated. It's the right play to make, but man, was I getting mad. And like... By the fourth back air train, or Good. sorry, fourth like nair train, nice, I was just getting really mad. I started mashing my controllers to SDI out, and then I actually hit the pause. And I was like, you know what? I, I have one sock left. I might as well just take this stuff. I was, I was, we were just talking about that on yeah. game two and game four. You're down the entire game, and that takes a lot of mental stamina to play through that, and still also try and win a game five set. Like, so there was a part of me that thought. This might be strategic from Zade. Yeah. Like we did this already on game two, and it wasn't fun. No. <laughs> Amac, Amac just tried to do down tilt into up smash. And he did down tilt into up tilt. Uh, so I think he's, he's he really wish he had that kill. He still has to lead, but right now this is not how you want to be if yeah. you're a Diddy Kong. Please don't get my back here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, great call out. Oh my god. I think the difference. Oh, I would, he oh hit my goodness. Into the Diddy Kong is just. Insanely broken. Oh my god. <laughs> I think the key difference I put between uh, between Crescendo and Jamie Wolf is I think Jamie's a lot more fundamentally sound. But Crescendo definitely goes for a lot more of those flashy, crazy things, but he, he's he, insane. Has, he has so many more like string follow-ups than me. I got I got like a lot of true combos and then I'm like reset neutral and he, he just keeps the advantage going. Did you see how he brought back that game too against yes. Gunk? Yes, he's just crazy. Keep, yes. Going so well. Yeah, I hate how he uh, uses. There Very you go. Well. He uses Wolf up air amazingly, better he's, than anyone else. He's so much better up air than I am. It's crazy. Uh, oh. I, I played him yesterday, and uh, when I when I was trying to call him out for doing Nair with my up air, it would trade every time. And then when, when he did it to me, he would just win clearly because he just spaced it way better. Yeah, he spaces amazing. And I, at first, I was like, man, Wolf up air is broken. It's not Wolf up air. It's a combination it's of Wolf up air. It's Wolf, it's Wolf, Wolf, Wolf up air good, <laughs> but also it's how it's how good uh, Wolf's air speed is. You can cover so yep. much space. Yeah. And it's insane. And he used it so well. Oh. Yeah. Amac took a game. Yeah. He got 3 0 last time. We saw him look very sound in advantage and really tripped up Crescendo quite a few times. Now, obviously, pushing him into the banana was kind of a niche yeah. situation. But when Amac was in the driver's seat, Crescendo looked a little lost, which is not what I typically see from him. Mm -hmm. When I think about Crescendo, I think of a wolf that has like a very hard line game plan, like when. Uh, when Kazuya jumps, I'm gonna do this. When they're dashing towards me, I'm gonna do this. Like, yep. he's very, uh, I wanna say flow charted, but not in like a, a boring way. Like, yep. he just is very confident in what he's going to do in the game. So to see him, damn, those, that, those two go fantastic yeah. together. That they great. do.
Crescendo, I think, to me, is one of the hardest players, at least right now, that i played to approach. Because, as you said, he has such a fundamentally sound, just, like, he stays in his area. He's all the cancel bearing. He's he's bearing a lot to keep the space. But he fumbles, or not rather fumbles, he kind of falls apart when he starts to lose the lead. As he was saying, he really, like, has a bad mindset after he starts to lose a stock or two. You're right. And, uh, he's incredible when you feel you need to approach him. Yes. So that makes sense. But when he feels he needs to approach, that's when he starts to fall apart. And that's where I would see Jamie's will find more success. Yes. Your, your neutral is more ambiguous and maybe a bit more patient, I should <laughs> Give say. it up, Josh. Give it up, Josh. <laughs> Do you slingshot? Oh, that's, that's nice. That's all I do. That's all I do. <laughs> We're talking a lot about Crescendo, and right, rightfully so, uh, but AMAC is actually winning this set, and he's winning this game still. Definitely yeah, we holding have, his own. Yeah, we yeah. haven't said much about AMAC. Still close. Close for stock, at least. As a fellow Kong player, Josh, how do you feel about uh, how AMAX is playing and his use of Diddy Kong throughout the bracket so far? Got cooked by him today. Cook, well, As someone who got cooked by AMAX. PR player, a playing in the Arcadian. I mean, not my Arcadian. You know? do you, maybe you and I should make the ban list next year. We could collaborate on it. I think we would do a good job. I think it's pretty easy. No, I think we would previous do a good Arcadian job. Arcadian winners, previous PR players. Uh, done. 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 Oh, and no other. Okay. So, sorry, no. Sleeper. No sleeper next year. Oh. Wait, why is sleeper not allowed? I missed that part. He is Alberta. Oh, yeah. So true. Come on. He's, he's honorary SK. He's honorary. Give it up. You saw that PYK set. I, was, I saw a screenshot of the end of it. Oh, okay. You took a game up. And specifically the player can. The nice snare. You know, Josh strikes me as someone who would cheer for JM and sleeper JM, and that just doesn't surprise me at all. Did you, I did. did you I did bet game? on JM when they played at uh, <laughs> I, I, some platy. I'm not going to say uh, I knew that already, because I didn't. But I did. Hey, Max, play first count. I actually. Yeah, I won. Yeah, we all, we all know. Two birds on a wire. JM won three. I do really enjoy watching him next because he. I mean, he is the only real Diddy Kong in SK, but also just. He's the only real Diddy. Like, DK. Not DK. Diddy, sorry. That, uh. I know in the local region that really does like the Z-drop combos, the Z-drop uh, banana combos. You know, he's really yeah. trying to get the technical stuff. He does the uh, peanut popcorn gun cancels. It's really nice to see. Oh, like, he oh, oh, he oh my goodness. Him there. The well, double trip. He could have got some downers, hopefully. Yeah. I saw some really, really insane item play, Z-drop play from AMAC when he's playing against Rilo. He made, I was, I've said this a couple times now, but... Uh, he just made Snake look so useless when he's catching grenades, using peanut pop gun with a banana in his hand. Like, uh, AMAC just so comfortable, um, kind of regardless of the matchup. That's not experience again. I mean, yeah, I, I, I was saying this to someone before, but uh, Z catching, I'm not sure if AMAC was Z catching grenades, but Z catching or just catching grenades in general is so useful against Snake. And uh, just with how he probably Z catches and handles banana all the time. He's so Ooh, comfortable. Great barrels, oh my great crazy barrel. legend. Oh Did the game and watch up you there? Yeah, that, that was the game watch up. Great backer. <laughs> nice call out. This could be it. Uh, I thought he was going to Z drop there. No, he drop there. Oh. Oh, oh, banana comes in clutch that's twice. That's like the third time that's happened. Yeah, that's and the same Shendo thing. Shendo needs to respect that banana a little, more a little awareness bit more. He's just yeah. dashing in. Was that a dash tag or just dashing? Uh, it looked like dashing. He might have tried to dash tag. Because yeah, yeah. you can dash tag and pick it up and hit him. That's, yeah. That might have been what he was trying to do. But he's done that like He's done times. a lot of like dash in, try to up smash. Though. Yeah, I think, he he, I, I think he was trying to up smash if I were to guess. That's he's an up smasher. He loves up smash. On shield, it's just... I know this is a, this is especially a Diddy Kong shield. Yeah. Up smash is so brutal. Well, I think I think he was trying to punish Diddy Kong for going for up smash. This is a set that happened a while ago, but I ha I have to pay mind to the one moment that you kind of just pointed out. Uh, it was I think Benji versus Awa, mm -hmm. mm. and there was Gyro right in front of Awa when he had when he's playing Rob. And if Benji had just ran in normally, he would have gotten hit by Gyro. But he ran in, stopped, and then initiated a dash attack. So he both picked up the Gyro and also hit dash attack at the same time. So if Crescendo started to maybe implement that, I'd be more. I think they'd be lost more. The thing is, I think, I think Diddy, a, uh, AMAC is like literally the, the best Diddy Kong I've ever played against. Uh, 
wait, if he sees you dash attack the banana once, he's just gonna wait for you to do it the yeah. next time. He's so comfortable without the banana in his hand. Ooh! Jeff, and he Jeff loves Jeff using the roll. banana as a trap. I think, yeah, he understands that you have to play around banana. That your mindset changes just where banana is placed on the stage, where it is in the air. Good patience by Cristiano not to go up there. We're gonna go back here. Oh. That was a pretty good banana pull. Oh, no down there. Worked out for him. I would expect it a down He does a lot of side beat to ledge. I'm surprised it doesn't get hit as much. Uh, crescendo? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I honestly, even just playing against him, I don't know how to punish it. It's well, very hard to test. Sure. I guess so. You just have to get the hitbox out there before. You kind of have to guess when it happens. Will it not, uh, not hit? Or will you not get so traded? The thing about Wolf's side beat is his hurtbox gets there before the hitbox does. Is it like a, like a Krom up or like a it's up kind of thing? It's kind of similar Same to that. Idea? So if you have a hitbox there, uh, uh, Wolf will lose. Good to, know, good to know. Amac in the lead right now. I, we've seen Crescendo a few times this game fight with Amac to try and pick up the banana when it's between them. And so far, it's not worked out in his favor. Yeah. I Like, we had that one, like, double jab thing. But if Crescendo wants to stay competitive in the set, he needs to play his own game while giving Diddy Kong respect. Because right now, he's kind of trying to neuter Amac's game plan. And Amac just has too much counterplay for people trying to get in between him and his banana. Yeah, it's, uh, Ooh, didn't, it didn't, it was good. close. I feel like he was just guessing there instead of actually trying to react. Yeah. This this space right here, it's like three or four wolves apart that yeah. he just cannot break. Yeah. Amac is staying in that range, yeah. staying away from him. But there you go, he popped and cancel just to get back to the ledge. Smart as hell. That makes it work, by the way. Flip kick? That kick. It's a basically right. my card. Flip, yeah. yeah, it is, it is. Minecraft, you don't have to take six bucks on. Yeah. And there's, you know, niche free fall situations with Diddy Kong. Yep. It's not quite Minecart, but it's pretty <laughs> damn close. <What? laughs> That's the closest that, we got. I call it that to annoy Amac mostly. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the most experienced Steve uh, player here. Uh, budget minecart is still good minecart. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's facts. Any bro. minecart you get, any minecart is still good minecart. Ooh, there's that up there. Well, uh, maybe minecart a little bit less. Yeah, maybe there is that. I, I think it's pretty well known that uh, the jump flip, uh, monkey flip is yeah. punished. It's, it's something you look out for against every Diddy Kong. Yes. We'll get away with some of them, but you famous, can't let them go Famous sets have been lost with yeah. the jump from flip kick. I keep saying flip kick, monkey flip. Same move. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nice. Can he get something with this banana? Oh, oh, oh I don't edge. think that was intentional, but definitely. You think it was? Yeah, I don't know if the upward angle was intentional, but no, he put no, the air dodge. He loves air dodge up. Oh yeah. Yeah, he talks about it all the time. <laughs> upward angle was definitely intentional. Wow. I guess yeah, you guys would know his uh, intentional. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. The banana down there to cover the roll, and then covering the jump with uh, the monkey foot. That's so smart. Just not very much patience from Crescendo here. No. They're on the same stock count, but Crescendo has just like all the intent in the world of using this rage to his advantage. Don't get back in here. You get back in the corner, you're dead. Yeah, that, he, oh, he knew. He knew. He, that late nair was very close to connecting. He, he, he said, I'm not going to get back here. I'm going to shield and I'm going to roll in. You can, oh. see, you can see Crescendo forgetting his game plan, though. I haven't seen a single auto cancel there from him. Yeah. Right he's not doing anything that he was doing before. He's rushing in. He's he knows that he needs, or he feels like he needs to approach, and it's it's fogging well, his brain. I mean, you're down two games. So it's time to change something. Yeah, I guess so. Nope. Oh. Wow. Nice. Reads the neutral getup. Yeah, that was yeah. actually. Crazy. I'm also surprised that neutral getup is the option that Amac chose. Maybe he was just surprised he got tripped. I'm not sure. Most of the time. Banana strip takes so long that you don't have to like nobody goes for that read, they just hit him because you can just run up down. I guess so, you're not you're not thinking of yeah. that extra read, huh? Okay. Does anyone know how peanut popcorn cancel actually works? I, I, I have no idea what, you, what the inputs are. You do the reverse. Ooh, the great the final fair there to close out, out the game. It, it jump cancels it, I'm pretty sure. And that's the set for AMAC. That's the set for AMAC yeah. after you know what's crazy? Crescendo 3 0 in winners, and then AMAC 3 0 back in losers. That is. Which, that's old man smash. I that, told is, you, that is old, old man, man adaptation right that's there. Previous PR player adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this guy and is I'm so glad selfish. we're hammering this in yeah. because uh, a change needs to be made. And I'll say it. Um, Every single tournament organizer in Saskatchewan is corrupt and horrible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't have our best interest in mind. That's nice, Nadia. <laughs> uh, Nadia, unfortunately, falls in that category. Why is Amac playing? Nadia could have put a stop to it. He did. Hmm? Nadia could have put a stop to it. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm up. I'm commenting, and now I'm playing.
Best of luck, Zane. Good to see you. Want on the mic? Oh, Naughty's here. I think. Okay, that's fine. So next up, we'll see the other side of losers. Where's Benji Nadia? Player. There he is. What a fucking set. No yeah. bias, but let's go Saskatoon. Hi. <laughs> Who did? Zade? Yeah, no. AMAC was clear. He, he so saw it because Crescendo won the last set. Yeah, Crescendo's yeah, in again. Quiet. But not this time. What's up, Aiden? Hey, Jamie. You ready to watch uh, uh, Zay Kroga? Kroga yeah. asked me for some Josh advice. What do you say? Uh, he asked me what to do against Mario. I said, Kroga doesn't play this game very much. Yeah. He's a melee P plus player. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, like I told him, Mario backers you, you hold shield. Yes. You don't uh, do yes. it. Yes, that's what I was saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh but but not only that, you wait for the punish after. Yeah. Just up B out of shield every time. Because you're Kazuya, you up B out of shield, you're safe, you're out of there. Yeah. It's an escape option. And he's wondering, you know, how do I edge guard? Josh? Down air beats it. I don't got it. Down air does beat it. Electric. You can electric through back air. Yeah. Drag an uppercut even. Yeah. Sorry to up, uh, interrupt you guys. No, go ahead. Is Josh coming through for both of you guys? Nope. Not at all. Just a, a small technical difficulty here. We're going to see Benji and player, which is Regina, Regina. But this is interesting because David is never, ever at weeklies. So, he's and barely at monthlies. Yeah. Whereas Benji is at lots and lots of weeklies practicing with the kind of Regina top player circle of DC Dub, Zade, Saki, that group. But every time player comes out of the woodwork, you know, emerges, he's got kind of like that plup factor in melee where he might just, you know, make top four. Um, and I think we'll see something like that today. Pikachu, Kirby is something I know almost nothing about. Uh, but I know Kirby struggles with a lot of brawlers and, you know, fast option, um, small move type of people. Yeah. I can tell you one thing, uh, player's 2-0 on Benji left hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So That's the thing about player, he, he's, he plays so different. He feels so different than anyone else you have. That's very true. Yeah. Coming through for almost, Yeah. It's yeah. perfect now. There's almost a mental block of knowing he's just on top of Josh, talk. Like, you can't talk about player without talking about how he plays. You want to closer to his mouth? Hello. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Josh, can you talk? Yep. Okay. Wow. Sweet. We're, here. We're good. We're all here. The gang's all together. Yep. Yep. Okay, and also one one thing, um, no matter who wins in that other losers quarterfinals, it's two Saskatoon and two Regina left. One in winners, one in losers. That's a movie. Yep. That is amazing. And I, oh, it's crazy that it's Zayn Krogunk in, in winners finals. Like, yeah. No one expected. We were saying this I earlier. Think, I think if you said to pick one Saskatoon player to be in winners finals, it ain't Krogunk. I would have picked. It's never Maybe Krogunk. ten Saskatoon players before Krogunk. Yeah, out of the seventeen seats, yeah. ten of them are Saskatoon before him. Yeah, like the still, you're yeah. getting, you're getting the still before this Krogunk. still Krogunk. I'm like, oh, I'll coin flip. Like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> this still Krogunk is like yeah. a perfect 16, yeah. 17 seat yeah. kind of thing. That's literally yeah. what it was. Like, I think you think yeah. they're gonna be this. So with you. Yo, while we're getting, uh, while we're. Here on my you see For those wondering, Amac has now uh, won his fifth loser set in a row. Fifth. So uh, I think Lose at at five, that's when you can start calling losing it a run. to Crescendo. Yeah, at, at that, which you should mention because Getting I mean, his, obviously he's yeah. figured it out. Got his revenge. He looks kind of on fire right now. He looks now. great. I mean, Amac, Amac could beat anyone. I, I have no doubt that he could beat anyone ever. It's kind of like a. Crazy, you know, fucking mango losers run type of thing. Except when you start to think about that he's one he's, of the only people who's ever been on a PR in this entire bracket. He's been on many PRs. He's, he's been, been number on one on, on PRs. <laughs> he's been number one on a PR. That's that's not. It, I Amac should be a favorite to win. Three previous PR players still in. Yes. Of the four, of five. Yep. This player count. Well, Arguably four. Krogug was also ranked. Mm -hmm. Not an ultimate. Yes. He was ranked like number five or six. Oh my when was God. that? <laughs> the first, the very first power ranking. Yeah, that would make sense. Yes. He was a Amac player. has been on PRs that predate it, most people's Smash careers at this tournament. Yes. Uh, yes. Right now. I mean, he beats me. That's mm -hmm. for sure. And oh. I'm old school. Zade Krogunk, I mean, it's old school versus new school. Yep. Zade did have a number 10 spot at one point on a PR. That's right.
player. Did have an honorable mention on a PR. He's at been one number point. ten too. He's been number ten. Yeah. So we got Zade Krogunk actually instead of the loser set. So we got winners finals on us on our hands right here. Zade has looked uh, great all day. He doesn't look untouchable by any means, but has been very consistent uh, throughout the day. Yeah. And Krogunk, of course, starting off with three electrics in a row. Uh, how else would you want to start it as Kazuya? I, I was saying he's using the map. This match gotta check his box. This matchup is gonna be the exact same as the the Wolf uh, Krogunk matchup, where they're both gonna kill each other in one hit. You think well, Kazuya is the only one, but they both are gonna do 100 damage related. Well, Mario can do a lot of hits. Kazuya does like two. <laughs> like now, now he could die in one hit. Like. Mario could die in one hit. Krogunk gets the kill right. easier. It's going to take a while for Kazuya. Like, that's yeah, good. like that was down there at 120, like, and it was like not close. Yes. You don't want to land I more meant, like, aerial right they, there. They both do a lot of damage in one opening. Oh, yeah. It's like very volatile in that way. Like, like they could three-stock each other back to back, like uh, when Krogunk and Crescendo were playing. Uh, he hit him out of the jump. That's not going to kill. Ooh. Oh, Misty Electric would have killed him. I hate to see two misses. Oh, that might go though. Wow, quite. I thought it did, honestly. Oh, that yeah. got some weird was, DI there. Yeah. I've never even seen that move. Before. I think that's the piston punch. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a. Is he dead? He's dead. He could be. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You got an SDI hard in on that, and then yeah. you can tech. But yeah, I don't he, think he was. He was not. Krogunk definitely does not know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Krogunk's like, As well, am I just dead there? Nice <laughs> parry. Doesn't quite finish it up, though. Had something cooking the downer. Yeah, a little early there. Ooh, spot dodge just threw those jabs Ooh, that up the I, I like it. Nice air dodge. It's kind of just been bit that back and forth here. That's what I'm it's saying. It's kind of Krogunk's yeah. turn right now, but... Oh, throw something out. Oh, that's an opportunity. There we go. And now it's, it's super even. Stock, right? After all that, yeah. it's back to even. And Kazuya loves even. Uh oh You get a... Oh, DI in. Oh, onto the platform. Oh. Misses the electric punch. But huh? gets the uppie. Oh, he misses, oh, missed the Furps. Yeah, yeah he's got tragic. A, yeah. But he's got such a good lead. A he, he can kill him here. Wow. He did, Zade's targeting is not where it needs to be. Yeah. That's going to be the no. first game for Krogan. Oh. Zade seemed a little lost when he got hit yeah. by electrics. You mm. the, didn't jump, didn't air dodge. So. When, you, when you shield one electric, a lot of times you have like the instinct to like swing at them or something. But you just sometimes you got to hold the shield again. You, you have to kind of wait for the next yeah. game. And, it's, and the one thing... Zay doesn't really know what to do when he gets hit by electrics. Because yeah. what you have to do is either wiggle, wiggle the stick so he can't react, or switch it up last second if they are reacting. Or you could uh, angle your DI to the corner of the platform, and then they don't know if they need a first stack or do the downer. Yeah, that's when you have the luxury of being right next to that platform. He had platform. straight yeah. in. Though. No, yeah, no, yeah. that he was, was straight up. No. In between the platforms, he was in between the platforms. Yeah. Right yes. up. There was, there was you, no you question. Definitely. You up smash every time as Kazuya. Yeah, and you DI out every time there as the person who got electric. You want to get to that yeah. platform. Considering how we saw game one start with that long Mario string, uh, it was crazy to see that we, that was the only you know, big Zayd string of the game. Well, there was the one in the second game where he took the stock. He got, he started off with an air at maybe 30. And Sorry, is this the not spot. the second game? Wow. This is the, sec he the second, he meant the second stock. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. the second stock, Zayd did uh, like up air, up air, forward air, and killed him at 30. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right, right. right. Like oh, a string. <laughs> and okay. I could yeah, take the got that stock real quick. Yeah, so clearly the X factor here is going to be Zayd's disadvantage. Does it hold up against yeah. Akazuya? And I saw at the end of the first game, Krogan was doing a lot more dragon uppercuts to trying to kind of beat out those back airs because Mario, of course, loves doing back airs yeah. really good. And so if he can drag her uppercuts, just get all invulnerability on it or invincibility, he can just go through it and kill him at really early. I fucking love when Krogan gets rage drive, he, he just lets four of the rip right in a row. It's so funny. Yeah, well, and, <laughs> he gets one, and he gets one. Out. It does 40%. Like, I, I, I can't play him. But he doesn't even like, oh, uh, they're going to they're gonna jump now, so I'm going to try to anti air. Like, there's no just mind games. He's just, he's just letting four rip. To be fair, you <laughs> should not be anti air in this game that be, much. Unless I, it's up I know, I know. But Mario's dead. And yeah. there it is. Yeah, that back, that downer that just move. beats Uppy clean. Yeah. And there's that, nothing else Mario can do. And that, that throw is just going to set him up for it at such low percentage. It's so fast. Ooh. Down here gets a wrong. Whips the shield grab there. Yep. 
Koga? Wow. Ooh, great, he's playing great grab. incredibly well around Fireball. Every time he sees one out, he already has a plan for uh, how he's going to counter Zade's approach. Uh, and we see lots and lots of people get totally Ooh, lost. That's like, the eye, yeah. And then they see some more Zade Did Koga play Benji in pool? Uh, yes, and one. And he yeah. beat Benji, right? Yes. Okay, so so he's he's just good at dealing with the t or Fireball type it's situation. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. He, he seems used to that kind of yeah. play. Oh. Didn't mind on stage, couldn't really because he's holding it. Oh, I think. Wow. 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 And Guy again. The no, Krogong doesn't really seem to know how to yeah. DI that move. He Both is. of them, you know, despite what we've seen this entire top eight, we're seeing a, what feels like a lot of matchup inexperience here. Yeah. Despite being up three socks to one, even. Like, yeah. It's surprising. That's probably it. That's the game. Yeah. yeah. So, both from both sides, they just don't really understand the, each other's character, but. Yeah. Krogan kind of has the edge there because that helps cause you a lot more than Mario. You know what I think fu is fucking up uh, uh, Zayd a bunch is when he tries to extend his advantage, uh, he just gets beaten out by Kazu's big ass disjointed aerials every time. He's just like, you watch it. It's, he'll, he'll try to extend it and like either play like the air dodge game or frame trap and he'll just throw out the big forward air and then it'll just be beat it. You yeah. don't really see the discipline that much from Zayd. He, he, you see, like he's trying to get a little antsy, trying to get in. He's definitely known for not winning to take, not knowing when to take his foot off the gas. Yeah. His advantage is so strong, and with Mario, obviously, it makes it even stronger. But doesn't really know when to play back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's him land with an aerial so he can continue his combo. That's very good. Wait. Use his jump. Went to. Hit him out of the air and then gets killed. Yeah, you're right, Sam so trying to yeah. extend his advantage and get smacked around by uh, Kazuya aerial. Wow. Tough situation for Mario, yeah. Might, Might be dead. dead. Why is he laser? Down air? It don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it does yeah. matter. Bro, that doesn't text it. Huge. I think mean, huge flub by Josh. Yeah. 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 I think Josh, you never go for that laser, you just go for that down air. Because he only yes. has one route. Yeah. There's there's no well, reason yeah. to never. He was dead either way. Like his DI was bad on the throw. Yeah. yeah. And then he was dead. Oh, just wow. gotta recognize that. He converts that. Oh. Almost gets the Hell's Gate too. And he still down aired after the air dodge too, which like he's definitely dead. So Saskatoon has a couple Kazus, right? Um no. We have one main Kazu. What breaks here? So Koga. Well, we what about Pyraxi? He's, he's very... No, oh, Pyraxi yeah, yeah. is Falcon. Okay. Ka yeah. But Korga play sure so. plays Kazuya, but has only been practicing for this week and never usually plays Ultimate otherwise. Yes. You never really see him play an Ultimate. He plays on weeklies. And he never but he doesn't... I don't see him go Kazuya. I see him go right. Ryu. You're right. Uh, he had like a year-long Kazuya phase, though, I feel like. Yeah, when it came out in the 2021, but... I think a huge thing he, people miss from playing against Kazuya is baiting that out and punching it. Yes. Because it has so, so much end up. Yeah. That's, like that's why you need that. Yes. You yes. need that discipline. Because otherwise, you, you, you really... You I just have... Yeah. yeah. I played against Krogunk, and I'd sit one... I'd sit one of his... Uh, what's the grab called? The rage drive yeah, away. Yeah. One rage drive and a little bit away, and I'd just start charging my F smash and wait for yeah. him to do the rage yes. drive. Yes. <laughs> and you could just do that. Zayd is one big hit away from... Uh, Let's go, Saskatoon! <laughs> dropping into Loser's Finals here. Or, yeah. I mean, Loser's side. Ooh, the any hit from Kazuya probably kills him. Oh, snipes him. Air dodge. Cape him. Yeah. yeah. That was a cape, yeah. Right. But it's... I mean, Zayd would have Looking to have tired. a really great... Mario has, Mario has Mario the combo Mario, Mario does have... Mario does have... Oh! There's he's definitely a chance. Place. I don't like him just floating in that spot in front of Kazuya ever. Can I do... You don't want to be around Kazuya at all. Really. You just yeah. want to wait for him to do something and then hit him after. You do have to be Not close bad. enough to hit him after, but... But that's pretty easy for Mario. He's yeah. got great first range. Playing at a great range. Yeah. Let him swing and then... And then punish the line of light. Like a grab would kill him. Enough. More than 160 here on Zayd. Oh, nice. uh oh. Huge. Oh, that was love on that one. Okay. Yeah. And he might be dead. Downer. Downer. Yeah, yeah. there he goes. One route. He missed his up air. And that was that. And that was the first like stomp of the top eight. Every other set has been down to the wire. And, winners and, it and it was winners And it was winners finals. Yeah. From Krogunk of everyone. Uh, it's, it's crazy Krogunk's in grand. What 17th seed right now yeah. in grand finals. 3-0 in winners finals. Yeah. I mean, that's...